Hi, favored ones. Welcome to Soul Reflections. I know it's late, like one hour, more than an hour late, but it's good to be here and to be doing this live again. <laughs> of course, diba? every week naman siya, and I want to be consistent with it, even if the timing may not be on time, all the time. <laughs> but for today, I'd like to talk about uh, finding the lost self, only to realize that it's not really loss. You know, um, when I do counseling, when I talk to coaches, a lot of them would tell me that um, they'd want to be their old self again. They'd like to be the the person they were before a crisis happened. And all throughout their healing process, they want to be that person again. And in my case, I can relate to it because... Um, I've also gone through a life crisis and for me, there's a part of me that wanted to be who I was before all, all the bad things happened in life because that person was, you know, more faithful, uh, more loving, more confident, a lot of things. Um, all, all the, I, I love who I was before the crisis. The crisis happened and it made me doubt myself. It um, made me sad and of course who wouldn't want to go back to that old self but now now that I've you know I've I wouldn't well yeah I'm healed not in the man so now that I'm healed and you know this is the time when I realized that the old self is not really lost the old self was just in hiding <laughs> nandyan pa rin sa loob nagtatago lang because of all the fear because of the trauma that happened because of the life crisis that happened in my life of course there was trauma and i was in fear so that old self was just hiding and the healing process is a way for me to draw out who i was before and by God's grace, not only was I able to draw out who I was before the crisis, but I also became a better version of that old self. And it's really, really very, um, it makes me happy that I have grown so much. I feel that I am my old self and at the same time, I am a newer version of that old self. And there is so much wisdom now. There's even more love. And I feel very empowered to do the things that I want. And I can't help but be grateful. And I'm sharing this because I would want to give hope to those who are, you know, um, trying to search for their old selves again. To to find that healing. To, to be whole once again. I know that me saying this may not really be, um, it may help a bit, but then perhaps it might open up a little bit of understanding. The old self is not really lost. You haven't lost it. It's still there inside of you. And what we need to do is merely draw it out to, to make the old self come out. And because of what we have experienced, in the crisis, we make it stronger. And it's really, really very beautiful when you have that kind of hope. When you know that you can still be your old self, but a better, better version of who that was. If you have reached this point in your life before and you have reached a crisis, so bumabayan, diba? Once you have done the healing, you'll find yourself at a higher level. And that's something to be hopeful for. Um, you know, before I... Maybe my understanding of it wasn't that deep. But right now... It's... Um, I would use the term malawak. Mas malawak na. Yung kaalaman ko about it. And I'm not saying that I already know everything because that's impossible but I know quite enough at this stage and I'm really so grateful for it um, the crisis that happened in my life it wasn't 
it wasn't easy and if you would ask me if I'd want to go through it again oh my gosh no I hope not but the result was the result is really fantastic um, I would say I wouldn't be the person I am right now if it wasn't for my past and in some way by the grace of God it has molded me to be a better version to be a wiser person then so be it if that's going to happen then that's going to happen if it's going to happen again then I'll just face it as it comes um, because I know that I can handle any kind of life crisis it gives me the strength to know that God is always with me and you know I, I can always borrow his strength when the time comes that another crisis would be coming of course I'm not saying that I I'm anticipating any crisis to happen anytime soon um, sana naman magreap naman ng rewards de bang as of this time, but you know, um, if it happens, God is always with me, and I borrow my strength from Him, and we just hope to do our best as humans. We just hope to do whatever it is that we can in this life, and not only for ourselves, but also to be of service to others. So if you're going through a hard time right now. Um, and you are wishing that you were your old self. You are still your old self. Yun lang nga, in hiding. What is it that you're fearing as of this point? And what are the things that you need to face so that, you know, the, that old self will come out of the shell and be a better version of, of who you are? Because that's what, um, Sad to say, that's what crises are meant to have. That's why crises are, are meant to happen. It's not to make you, your life harder, but really to draw out the best version of yourself. Because it's only through um, hardship, only through certain experiences, that we get to shine like a diamond. So, hindi na parang bato lang. Diba? Parang kinikis-kis ka to be that diamond. So, I wish you all the best. Um, ano bang day ngayon? It's the 26th, right? So, still celebrating Christmas. So, Merry Christmas everyone. And I wish you all well. God bless us all.